So last time we were here, uh, I was talking to you guys about those new terrible topoly screens that was being shipped with uh, some of the backlight kits for Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Advance SP and Game Boy Color, I think, actually. And, um, well, I'm back again today to have more or less the same discussion, but same, same, but different, I guess. Um, there's another new screen. I've got some here. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to quickly go over because I have actually done this video before, but my testing method and my information was very flawed. So we're doing it again. I'm coming at it from a new angle and we're going to try this. I have two mostly identical Game Boy Advance SP consoles. These are both AGS CPU 11 revisions with AGB B CPUs. Um, in fact, they were made three weeks from each other, so I, I think very little should have changed between the two. This one does have an overclock module installed, but it should not make a difference in this case because we won't be overclocking anything. Uh, worst case scenario, the game will run ever so slightly faster, ever so slightly slower, but everything else, all other things, should be equal on this. Um, but what's going on here is we've got new screens and uh, I'm having a hard time talking and getting this set up at the same time so I guess I'm just gonna gonna get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I just need to grab the uh, kits out of these. So I am using two brand new from the same batch Game Boy Advance kits. You can see this one here, if you recall the last video, this one is a Topoly screen. These aren't brand new. I mean, they're new in that I haven't used them, but they're not brand new as in if you bought one right now, this is exactly what you get. Um, more on that in a moment. And I'm using Game Boy Advance kits because uh, these are the only two kits that I have that are from the exact same batch. I have plenty of SP kits as evidenced by the ribbons that I have here, but I just want to rule out any weird differences in software that could cause issues. This one also has a Topoly screen. Right, so what's going on here? There is now a third type of LCD screen that might be coming with one of these types of kits. And I have my screens divided up into two piles. Uh, on the left here, we have the Topoly LCDs that I went over in the previous video. The easiest way to tell if you have a Topoly LCD is if it's not actually laminated to the lens, which this back one is, uh, you could just see the uh, aluminum foil shielding on the bottom here. The uh, LG ones don't have that aluminum foil. They have this like metal mesh tape material. If you can only see the uh, connector here, the biggest way is this light coloring on the connector and those two big black dots. Right. But if you have an LG screen, on the other hand, instead of a Topoly, go ahead and pull these out here. We're not going to pay too much attention to these laminated ones. But we have. These ones here, which are the original LG screens that both kits originally shipped with, both Funny Playing and the One Chip brand, not brand, I guess. Uh, I call them One Chip because there's no real name for them otherwise. But you can tell they have this mesh here, and the connector itself is darker colored, and you don't have those two dots. When I put these two side by side, this one looked heaps better. This one wasn't bad. 
but this one was just flat out better. Um, one of the problems that I encountered with the top of these screens was like consistently I would have defective panels, uh, yellow backlights or um, dead pixels or something of that sort. I didn't like these. I, I mean, I'd use it if it's what I had, but side by side, the LG screens just looked better. But now, notice I have these in the LG pile too. These are newly manufactured LG screens, whereas these are original equipment from, I don't know, there might not actually be a date on these. Yeah, if there's a date, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but either way, these are from, I don't know, like 10 years ago, um, when BlackBerry was still making the Curve 9380, they had a bunch of these screens made. These are leftovers from that stock. These are brand new, newly manufactured LCDs using the designs for this. So they are functionally the same screen, but these were made within the last year or so, whereas these were made 10 years ago. As you can tell, back is pretty much identical. The printing and everything, it's you know, same model number, uh, it's in a different place, but I wouldn't count on using that to distinguish it. Uh, one of the things that I noticed, and this does not, this is not consistent, but notice all my new ones have the green tab, all my old ones have red tabs, um, but Topoli also has red tabs, so it doesn't mean too much, but if you look at the connectors, Here's a surefire way, way to tell by looking at the connectors here. I have a new one on the left and an old one on the right. The new connector isn't even cut square and the material is significantly darker. I think if we look at the actual connector itself, there was something different about them. Hmm. No, nothing. Uh, Nothing I can say, oh, look at this, this is surefire. But, yeah, you can see the new one is not cut square, so that little locating circle is cut off on this side. It shouldn't affect the screen, but if you look at it, you know, you can tell looking that way. But, uh, oh, here's something. Let me grab a pointing stick. The old LG has these little vias in the ribbon and the new LG has micro vias instead so the, the dots are just a little bit smaller it's kinda hard to tell unless you have them side by side but there you go now let's let's take a look at these screens in practice I have already previewed this and uh, I will say the new LG screens if you can get them these are the cream of the crop. Failing that, you probably won't even be able to tell the difference between a new LG and an old LG, and Topoli is still the consolation prize. Uh, this goes, we're gonna try, let's make sure this actually works, yeah. Oh man, did I already mess this up? All right, that I think that I think it's in. Okay. Just trying to get the orientation right on these cables. I can never remember on the SP ones which side is up. There we go. And don't worry about that mark, it's just on the uh, protective cover. This one is one that I restored with a new polarizer, so we're not going to be using it for testing. Um, I don't want to have to rule out weird polarizer stuff because this would be pretty atypical. This one, however, is Factory.
All right. Boot up into the same game here. I should have. I already removed the uh, touch sensors on this one so that I wouldn't hit them. But I didn't remove them on this one, and I kind of regret that. do it the uh, definitely recommended way. Alright, there we go. Now I can adjust the brightness without adjusting the color palettes. Alright, so you'll have to forgive me. This is not exactly a scientific test. Uh, you're going to have to take my word for most of this, uh, but I am going to, oh, battery fell out. This one doesn't have a battery cover on it. Okay. Set those to the same brightness. Realistically, I should set them to the... Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Should set them to the bottom level and just go from there. I don't think those are at the same brightness. Okay, there we go. So on the left here we have the new LG, and on the right here we have the old LG. You're probably having a hard time telling the difference between the two. Uh, there we go, I'll set them both to low brightness. And to be honest, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of the uh, idea behind it. Um, with the two of them side by side, I really don't see that big of a difference either. They look pretty much identical. I would, if I didn't know which was which, I would have a hard time telling you which one is which. Looking at these two in specific, it almost looks like the one on the right, which is the old LG, that one is slightly more saturated, just ever so slightly more saturated. But again, this is a side-by-side -side thing, and I don't know, that, you know what? That could just be the angle, because I'm sitting off to the side here. Let me, yeah, that's just the angle. Even though these are both IPS screens, um, Looking at one straight on and then one at an angle, of course, they're going to look slightly different. But, I don't know. That looks... They both... They both look great. Um, they both look pretty much the same. I'm going to power both of these off, pull out the game, power them back on. We're going to look at the um, white color, I guess. And what's interesting is the new one looks ever so slightly blue. My phone, I for context, I'm filming this on a Samsung Galaxy S10e. And if I recall correctly, these things tend to uh, hyper-exaggerate colors. So... Just keep that in mind as you're watching. Um, I'm not doing any post uh, color correction on this. Um, I I don't have any way of calibrating it. Not not that I wouldn't do it. I just I don't have any way of calibrating it. So any work that I would do would be as meaningless as just publishing it as is. Anyway, um, 
I don't know. They they look pretty much the same to me. I don't have a problem with either of these. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't be able to tell you which is which just looking at these two. Uh, I, they, they look the same to me. Uh, there was the... I'm going to swap this out with a Topoli now. Just so we have comparison here. These screens were uh, sent to me, most of them, were sent to me by Retro Game Repair Shop, and they, they actually put a few more of these side by side than I did. And in their experiments, the um, new LG had a more consistent backlight than the old LG. And now I have here on the right, I have a Topoli, and you can see, well, maybe you can't, but I can see in person that the backlight on this one is a little bit more yellow. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a new one. Pop the game in. Ah, oh, I didn't need to save that. Oh, well. There's the title screens and all their glory. So you can see now, comparing these two, the new LG is uh, much more saturated. And I think in this case, that is a good thing. And these aren't just the same game, guys. This is the same save, too. The actual cart is about 12 minutes ahead, or 8 minutes ahead. But that's because I was using it for trading. There you go. In-game, you can see a much bigger difference, especially if you look at these, the color of the cliffs. The grass looks kind of yellow-greenish on this screen, whereas on this screen it looks kind of like blue-greenish? I don't know. It looks much more appealing, I think. The, uh, the mountains look like dirt on the new LG. The mountains on the Topoli look a little bit more like poop. Uh, it's, it is what it is. That's, that's my observation. But again, that is with these side by side. You can see the color of the water is quite different, but I'm thinking that might be time of the day in the game. Uh, the actual cart, the RTC doesn't work in it, so it's probably set to like morning or something, whereas this one is evening proper, so we'll not pay attention to water. Or actually, it would be interesting if I swapped the screen out again and the uh, water looked good. Let's try it, shall we? This is, actually, we're going to try the refurbed old LG screen that I have. So yeah, you can see that little bit at the top where I didn't quite get the polarizer lined up, but shouldn't matter. That should be out of the frame. Hmm. Interesting. Did the water change on this one while I wasn't paying attention? Because now they're the same again. Or is it really the screen? Anyway, that's, that's just nuts. But there you have it. I don't, I don't really know what else I can, I can try on this. Uh, I do have on this one here the uh, 240p test suite so we can just load up plain color palettes on it. 
Oops, battery fell out again. You know what would be... Someone should get on this, but uh, someone should invent some sort of like plastic retaining clip that you can put here to hold this battery in. I think that would be really helpful. I don't know, we could call it something like a, a battery hatch or, uh, I don't know, power hatch. All right. I think that would probably be a more helpful screen to have up on both of them, but I don't know if I have 240p on my overdrive. Let's find out. There's an SD card in it. Does not appear that I do. Alright, let's try the old Easy Flash. Because I totally forgot I had one of these that wasn't an Omega. DE. It is an Omega, it's not a DE. Also new 240p. All right, well, hang on. Let me pop it on here. Okay, it is on both now. Oh, dear Lord. First time boot. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Where's my other flash card? Just load it on that, too. Oh, there it goes. I'll do that later. Uh, color bars. Ah, so this is what I was afraid of to test with this particular screen. You can see the black suck on it. I have the uh, digitizer slightly askew. So I'm going to swap out the screen. That was a bad test from the beginning. Uh-oh. There it goes. Sometimes you just gotta reseed it. There you go. These two have about the same black levels. Uh, I don't know, take a screenshot. You you tell me. That's, that's what I see. I'm gonna go kill all the other lights. You tell me which one you think is the better screen. On the uh, right we have the old old LG and then on the left we have the new LG. Uh, don't mind that little mark in the blue that is again on the um, on the protective layer on the screen and uh, if it helps to calibrate here is the AGS 101. This is a uh, OEM model. This isn't a backlight kit or anything like this. This is an original AGS 101 screen, original AGS 101 motherboard. wants to auto adjust I should turn that off and let me swap out 
the one on the right with the topoly again. This is my topoly again. Turns out, I can't see. Oops, sorry, I should have warned you. So on the left we still have new LG, and on the right now we have top of the Ah, fudge. I went to hit start, battery came out. I'm just going to hold it. Oop, that's not what I want. I think I accidentally hit the brightness. So, you tell me which one you like. Again. You can see the blacks, a little bit different, but the old L or the new LG, excuse me, has much better blacks. set this down without killing it yeah and I should have left this thing on and then here is AGS 101 so you can see Blacks on that suck depending on which angle you have it at, but if you have it at a good angle, you know, you have much better blacks than the top lead, but you do lose out on some of the colors. Uh, that is not just an effect that you're seeing on the video. That is one of the wonderful reasons why we started using IPS screens instead of the junk that Nintendo was using back in 2005. But, uh... There you have it. So, lights are coming on. So what do I think? I think, given the choice, the new LG screen, again, we just summarizing what I already went over, I guess. Uh, the new LG screen is the best option if you can get one, followed by the old LG screen if you can get one, and can't get either then I guess you're stuck with Topoli and it's not bad it's really not bad it's just the other two choices are better it is what it is um, to my knowledge and do not quote me on this because last time I said this the last video that information ended up getting out of date so what I know currently what is currently being sold if you buy one of these kits the one chip kits, you are getting a new LG screen. If you're buying a new kit, if you're if whatever vendor you're buying from has old stock, then who the hell knows what you're getting. But if you're buying a brand new kit that was restocked recently, you're getting a new LG screen. If you're buying a funny playing kit, uh, which I don't know that there's I don't know what's going on with their Game Boy Advance kits. I don't know if they're going to continue to sell them because they just came out with that new um, ITA kit, which, by the way, I have no idea what ITA means. I'm still working on it. Um, but like the Game Boy Advance SP kits, these things, you're getting a Topoly. That's what they're shipping right now. Again, it depends on what they have in stock. For funny playing, you're either getting Topoly or old LG. For one chip, you're either getting one of these three. It depends on when they're stocked. Uh, funny playing, if they continue to stock their kits, they might start switching over to the new LG screens on account of these being available and these being gone. The supply on these is donezo. There's no more. Um, this is what you get if you want new. Um, 
Funny Playing might start switch switch. Funny Playing might switch over and start selling with the new LG kits. I don't know. I all I'm saying, please don't use this information as a guide for what to buy. Just I guess use it as information to determine what you have. Um, because again, it's all going to depend entirely on the vendor and uh, some vendors, and I have actually seen this done, some vendors will tell you they stock one kit and then send you Topoly. They'll say, oh, we have LG, and then they send you Topoly, thinking either you won't know or maybe, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they don't even know, and the stalker just grabbed the screen because, you know, screen's a screen, except when it's not. Um, so be careful, just... I, I don't really know what the point of this video is, but it's information. Have it. Um, and otherwise, thanks for watching an entirely too long video on me looking at Pokemon Emerald. And uh, have a fantastic day.